Hey, Shaheen, is it wrong to be zero waste? I don't know, Ari. We're just two adults who studied liberal arts, and we smell our own farts, and we're talking about the things we have. So, what's wrong with you? <laughs> okay, so let me tell you how I became zero waste in the first place. Basically, only 9% of plastic actually gets recycled, and there are huge plastic gyres in our oceans. And you can even find microplastics in beer and tap water. And one study claimed that we were ingesting a credit card's worth of plastic each week. That's crazy, because I have a buddy who ate a credit card. Who? Like, which buddy? I don't believe you. My friend Kevin. He actually <laughs> did it back he in did? college. He wrapped it in pieces of dough. He ate it. Why? He won $25. After seeing the problem of plastic pollution, I heard about this thing, zero waste, which basically means trying to send as little as possible to landfill. Zero waste isn't a new concept. Our grandparents were living in more zero waste ways. Indigenous cultures continue to live with zero waste practices. Mm -hmm. But recently, there has been a zero waste movement. White ladies on Instagram holding a mason jar of how much trash they made last month or holding a mason jar of some really nice looking snack they got at some store I can't afford to shop at. Yes. It seems to me like it would be a pretty good thing for everyone to be zero waste. That's what I've been thinking, but I want to investigate that assumption, which is why I've come up with a list of things about why zero waste could potentially be wrong. Let's get into it. The pretty jars that you see that a lot of zero waste influencers have don't include recyclable materials or their food waste. That also doesn't include all the trash that went into all of the things that they are consuming. If me as a zero waste person goes to eat at a restaurant and I use real plates and utensils, Okay, I'm getting my meal without trash, but the trash that happens in the kitchen, that's not included in the jar. I think it's great and catchy, but I don't do the jar because I think it's important mm. for people to see beyond the jar. Wow, thinking outside the jar, I like it. In order to be able to do zero waste properly, you need to have an incredible privilege of time and money to do it, which makes it inherently elitist. How do you challenge that? I agree with this. You actually have to go out of your way and spend money to try and not make trash. But I think that if you do have the luxury of privilege and time, I think it's your responsibility. The fact of the matter is that you're just a pain in my ass right now. <laughs> and the whole movement is a pain in everyone's ass. Yeah. And what would be really nice is if you guys just publicly apologize. We're publicly sorry for making you feel mad about ourselves, yourselves. And we're gonna smash all our mason jars. And walk on them. Walk on them with our bare feet. That's right. <laughs> is that what everyone wants? The average American makes about 4.9 pounds of trash per day according to the EPA, but industries are making so much more. Yes, individuals make trash, but industries are the real culprits here. I think zero waste can't stop on an individual level. If we want real change, we also have to get governments and corporations involved. Even if everyone did it, would account for a smaller fraction than the amount that would change if the way things are produced would change. But then in America, I feel like consumers have a power to vote with their dollar. Right. And so if you are making different choices, uh -huh. then governments and corporations will follow. In a similar way that the organic movement shows this. People wanted organic produce, and now you can get that in the grocery store pretty readily available. According to an NPR article by Laura Sullivan, starting in 1989, oil and plastics executives began a quiet campaign to lobby almost 40 states to mandate that the recycling symbol appear on all plastic, even if there was no way to economically recycle it. Recycling is a business, and people are only gonna recycle something if they can make money off of it. Mm. And so it's frankly just cheaper and easier to use virgin plastic than Slimy recycle plastic. something. 
Yes, so it's slutty plastic. If the public thinks that recycling is working, then they are not going to be as concerned about the environment. They put a bunch of money into marketing recycling to us, starting with this Keep America Beautiful ad in 1971. Some people have a deep, abiding respect for the natural beauty that was once this country. And some people don't. People start pollution. People can stop it. And that was partly funded by SPI, which was a plastics company. I heard Denzel Washington actually took the whole tier thing from that guy. They don't want to take any responsibility for the products they're creating. They just want us to think it's our fault and we as consumers need to do all the work. And you've been doing this work for them for free. Yeah. The American Chemistry Council says that switching to alternatives to plastic packaging would double greenhouse gas emissions because if you're shipping plastic bottles versus glass bottles across the country, you will need to use less gas with plastic because glass is heavier, so less emissions are needed to transport it. But the American Chemistry Council reps big plastic and funded the study that says this. This also doesn't consider the health impacts of microplastics to ourselves in ocean life or the cost of having to clean it up from our ocean and coastlines. Plastic production has increased from 2 billion tons per year in 1950 to 381 million tons in 2015, and that number is just going up. Plastic production is expected to quadruple by 2050. And half of all plastics ever made have been produced since 2005. So we're making more and 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 more plastic. I always say 2007 was the last good year. It was like when people with Facebook had a nice day today. <laughs> yeah. So, why am I even bothering? Yeah, why are you bothering me? Try. <laughs> Being lazy and doing whatever you feel like really does pay off. Really? I don't question myself at all, ever. And neither should you. So what do you say? Do you think it's wrong to be zero waste? Seems to me like it's almost a fashion statement. Like this is the I care about the earth toothbrush and this is the I care about the earth jar and this yeah. is the I care about the earth car while my mere existence in this country is damaging the lives of countless people who I'll never meet. <laughs> right? Is that like something that ever no, occurs to people? No, I think that's, yeah. that's a fair critique. I think a lot of zero waste influencers are promoting a lot of products. I do think though, in order for something to be viable in American society, which is capitalist, if you can sell it, then it has legs. So I don't necessarily fault You can sell people. snakes. They don't have legs. Here's the thing I think bugs me the most about this movement. Honestly, it's the name. I mean, just by the virtue of the fact that we poop, I feel like it's impossible to not make waste. Well, you can do humanure. Harvest your feces on your fruit trees. So for all the big influencers out there who claim to be zero waste, this is the new standard. Okay, I'll start buckets. What do you think? For me, zero waste is a symbol because you can't see the carbon that you were putting into the atmosphere when you're driving or flying, but you can see the trash that you make. And so I think zero waste is a really good stepping stone for people to engage with their impact and start to see the impact that they're having. And that's, I think, the real power of zero waste. Does it actually make that much of an impact? No. I see it as performance art, personally. <laughs> Yeah. I really do. Somehow it has become this thing where it's like, oh, they are telling me that this is what I need to do in order to be a good person and in order to save the world. That's not true. Yeah. And this is another thing I say all the time. We don't need to everyone to live <laughs> zero, zero waste perfectly. perfectly. We, we just, just need, need everyone, everyone doing to get it imperfectly. imperfectly. That's yeah. right. <laughs> yeah, you do say that a so. lot.